Right, so okay, the short version how to use Link Attendee. First, make sure you download Link Attendee uh, from the download center. It's important you download this rather than the server. You won't be able to use the server. Um, free, it's about 60 megabytes. Uh, so it takes a little while to download. You know, thank you for downloading it. So say, make sure you've downloaded the right thing. And there's there's the URL which is posted in the uh, information for this video as well. Okay, when you start it up, you won't be able to connect. You'll get this little dialog box which allows you to set up various information, uh, ringtones, if you're in that sort of thing. The important one is setting up your audio devices. There's ways that allow you to configure your audio, audio devices, headphones, and uh, microphones are better than using just the stuff that comes with a laptop, for example. Uh, there's a video set up which you won't be able to use. Um, uh, I mean, um, yeah, okay, we'll make it go away. And that's not the reason why you won't be able to use it. It just takes too much bandwidth. So people using Link Attendee aren't able to actually use the video. Okay, that looks slightly better because it's darker. Uh, okay, so how do we get into it? You'll get an email which will have something like this. Double click on it and the program will start automatically in a few minutes. Uh, Okay, so in, in a couple of minutes this uh, this thing will start up, it will allow you to log in, it will allow you to enter your name, and it will let you save your name if you've already get it, got it answered. Okay, starting now, so there we are. Okay, um, so I'm going to join, and uh, it's a little bit strange this. Um, let me explain what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm using my laptop and my desktop, and my laptop has got problems with audio, so I'm going to get rid of them. What you need to do when you first go in is click on I am, instant message. And it'll tell you you've been removed from the conversation. Ignore that and type something. Uh, hopefully you can spell hello better than I can. Uh, it'll tell you you've now been sort of re rejoined in the, in the conversation. If you notice there's, uh, there's, there's me and there's me also as a guest. Uh, the one at the top is me on the desktop and the one at the bottom is me on the laptop. Uh, so I'm a little bit of back and forth here um, between myself. Um, which I'm going to stop shortly <laughs> for obvious reasons. Uh, and then show you how to uh, the sort of sharing options that are available. Okay, in a, in a moment, you know, this the desktop, which is the what with the image we're seeing here, will get an accept sharing request uh, button uh, request. So I click on the button, it'll open up, and what we're going to see now is the desktop of my uh, desktop computer. Um, the person using the laptop, that is the person using Link Attendee. Can't sort of play with it, but I can show them things. There is video again, uh, slightly better video because that's in my office where it's a bit better lit. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good or a bad thing, but I'll still make the video go away. And there's my desktop there, so I can open up, open up folders, for example. Uh, so I open up a folder here and open it up by PDF. Um, a PDF on peptides. Uh, I'm going to select some text for it, which I'll come back to a bit later on. So I'm selecting that text and copying it. I'm going to close all that up and get rid of this and I'm going to stop sharing the desktop now. So I'm going to click on stop sharing and it'll disappear. Uh, so your desktop will look like that and you'll get this information asking if you want to hide the stage or open the stage. And we're zooming about all over the place here, which slight apologies. Now what happened there was that you, that is the, the laptop you, or the person using um, Link Attendee, has now opened up a a whiteboard. Uh, okay, this is the Link Attendee version of me scribbling on the whiteboard. Uh, in a short moment, the desktop version of me will also scribble on the whiteboard. Um, there's line with me scribbling on the whiteboard, and a few others, a few others appear. So, firstly, I open a, my desktop and as the as the host for the meeting and showed you it. Now, as one of the members of the meeting, you've opened up a whiteboard, and there I've just pasted in the text I copied from the uh, PDF and moved around a bit. Okay, so we'll close that up in a moment. And again, no one sharing, it disappears from the uh, from the thing. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is back in the desktop, that is a server machine, I'm going up with a presentation. Um, so it's went for slide to download and there's the first of the sort of revision presentations for human metabolism. Now you don't know that again. This is you, we've got to be sure we're where we are. This is the view from the from the link attendee side. So I'm, I'm, I've opened it up. I've scrolled through various pages. I've changed it to view with the thumb thumbnails. Uh, interestingly, 
on the server side that is the desktop side this is this isn't happening it's just uh, staying where I left it when I when I uploaded the presentation uh, so in principle a number of people could look at the presentation and the document at the same time at different at a different pace uh, which sounds might, like it might be quite useful uh, okay we'll close that up again and then eventually close up the whole thing uh, that was a very quick uh, run through it, it's it's quite intuitive when you've used it a couple of times well, I know a couple of people got confused uh, sorry about the zooming about it's just uh, Camtasia Studio doing strange things to me okay thank you look